Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to today's video. I'm so sorry for the last three weeks that I haven't posted a video. I think it's about to be four weeks now. Dusty again, huh? Yeah. Basically, whenever you push down the clutch and you go to put it in reverse, it doesn't let you go. Like, you can go to first, second, third, fourth, fifth, no reverse. So, I've had constant non-stop problems with this car whenever it comes down to shifting. I'm honestly getting quite annoyed with the fact that I can't like... The main problem with the car is it alternates between not having first gear or not having reverse. One of the main things is these right here give me a lot of problems due to the fact that it is a cable trans and how it's ran is just ran like awkward underneath the intake manifold and through the firewall. And I'm not sure if it's just putting itself in a bind or something like that. Um, I can't quite figure it out. I also have a lot of little things that I want to do to the engine bay. What happened? Are you recording? Yeah. I was just recording a video. Yo, what's up, guys? So it is currently the next day. Uh, there's a few things that I want to pick up for the Integra. Um, obviously, I want to show you guys what... I really don't like about the car and I'll go more in detail of other things that I am planning on doing but for now um, I actually am about to go pick up a new part so I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be replacing alrighty so on creamy the intake manifold um, is really ugly you know how the a series comes where they come with the butterflies it's really not too well for performance so I'm planning on uh, gonna go pick up a new intake manifold it's actually um, it's actually an H to K series manifold. So it's going to be a skunk two manifold um, with the H to K place. So where I'll have a K series manifold actually on the car. So that will be super sick. Um, I'm excited to go pick it up. We're going to go check it out. I'll show you guys as soon as we get there. And then we'll decide whenever we're there whether we're going to actually buy it or not. All right. So we're going to start by taking off a few little things. Uh, firstly, we're going to remove the throttle cable.
All right, now time to remove the fuel line from, oh, squirted some fuel from the fuel rail so that we can get it out of the way. Alrighty, now that line's removed and it's uh, leaking out most of my gas onto the floor down there. Lovely, but it's okay. All right, now we just have to go through and remove the wiring and also the vacuum hoses and vacuum lines and everything that is all on top of the manifold so that we can start disassembling the top of it. All right, perfect. So now we just have to remove the fuel rail, injectors, and of course unplug the injector clips. We are reusing the injectors onto the new manifold and fuel rail. Fuel rail and injectors out. Oh, lovely. I'm in a mess, it's okay. hits against that sensor. <laughs> right there, you see it when it's running? Right here. Gotta quickly remove this fuel system. Oh, I'm leaking fuel everywhere. Now that that is out of the way, we're able to uh, unbolt this T-bracket. I have to unbolt the T-bracket because trying to remove this manifold, it hits this temperature sensor that is um, bolted onto the manifold against the brake booster. So, yeah, it's no bueno, but it's okay. So we're going to just remove this T-bracket so we can kind of lean this thing forward, the engine forward, and then pull the manifold off, and then we'll be able to put the new T-bracket back in. All righty. It's ready to come out, you guys. Oh, yeah. Ah, damn. Oh, that didn't mess up. Okay, I did it. Yeah. Jeez, that intake manifold gasket was blown. Alrighty guys, so we're going to go over here, we're going to grab this uh, Ace Decay adapter plate real quick and I'm going to show you guys exactly how it sits on the engine. It goes here. Perfect. So, basically what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to remove all these studs and replace them with Allen head bolts uh, so that it sits flush there. And then this right here is where the actual K-series and these threaded parts here is where the K-series uh, manifold bolts onto. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. We're gonna grab the manifold and we're gonna put it there just to test fitment and everything like that. And if it all fits good right there, then good to go. Alrighty guys, so basically I'm gonna explain to you guys what it is that we gotta do here. So let me put that out of my pocket. All right, so as you can tell, I just pulled this one off. Uh, what we have to do is take two 12 nuts, you put one on backwards, 
you put one arm backwards like this you put one the other one on the correct way like that you take two 12 wrenches you put two 12 wrenches on there tighten them against each other and then you can unscrew it so then i'll show you guys me unscrewing it so basically what you need to do is start it by turning the back nut loosening it and then sooner or later you'll be able to just turn the the top nut and then you'll be able to loosen the whole thing just like this sometimes you might get lucky uh set your impact all the way on low and then remove it like this there it is and there we go so now all you have to do is remove the two nuts from this one and move it on to the next one so i'm gonna set you guys up on a time lapse of me doing all of these real quick All right, guys, as you guys see now, I got all the studs out. I actually want to update you guys real quick on these studs. Uh, something I realized as I went along is as long as you tighten these two nuts together well enough, it doesn't matter what setting the impact is on, you could completely pull it out. Uh, just So what I did was hold one side with the wrench and then tighten it with the impact like until it doesn't go no more. And then loosen the backside one time. So where it starts to spin the threads, and then all I did was just completely zip it out with the freaking impact, which saves a lot of time. I wish I would have known when I did. I wish I would have known that when I did these studs, because I completely switched all these out, except for that one, because I couldn't get it out, because it gave me problems and stuff like that, because the alternator bracket. Um, but it's okay. We'll be able to switch that out one day. <laughs> it won't just be the only crusty one left, because as you can tell, those hardware, those hardware right there are sick. Alrighty guys, so last night I ran and picked up a, a bunch of hardware and stuff for this. So these ones are the hardware to actually bolt the manifold to the adapter plate. And these hardwares here are to bolt the adapter plate to the back of the block. So as you can tell, they are sunk in a lot more than what the Allen head bolts do. As you see here, this is an Allen head bolt. Focus. That's no good because of the fact that we obviously need to have a flush surface to be able to mount this onto with a gasket so that it doesn't have any vacuum leaks. So I went and picked up these. So I went and picked these up from Ace Hardware. As you can tell, they sit in there and they come out enough to be able to bolt into the engine. Um, I got a few different sizes so that this one's a little bit shorter than that one, um, as you can tell. just so i can play with it and see which ones are going to be best so and now we're about to set up to get this adapter bolted onto the head um and then we're gonna start bolting on this manifold I just want to say a huge shout out to you guys for watching today's video. I know it kind of came to a bruh ending. Um, I just want to let you guys know that that K-Series HDK manifold did not end up working on the car. It ended up hitting the T-bracket. Uh, I believe I have a video, but I think it's vertical. Uh, so I'll throw it on the screen just for you guys to see. Um, it didn't end up working out, so we ended up picking up a new manifold. So stay tuned for the next video. Huge shout out to you guys. Peace out. And I'll see you on the next one. Later. Oh, and because of the fact that I wasn't here for a while, I'm actually going to be updating you guys in a lot more details when it comes down to that in the next video as well. So stay tuned. Peace.